Well, good afternoon, everybody. How you doing on this beautiful Saturday? February 10th, I think. I don't know. I thought about looking. I forgot. Uh, it's, the Indian says it's 43. Google said it's 40. Feels like 38. I don't know. I'll finish it. But, heading to the Appalachian Harley Davidson Cross and Flannel. At uh, 12, 11.35. I like to be a bit too early. So, beautiful sunshine, a little breezy. Gotta get out. I think two weeks ago, I think it was, we were in the 50s. The weather is weird. The economy is weird. Everything is weird. Good thing I'm a weirdo. Weirdo like things weird. But here it is, we're at 43 degrees, but I gotta... Yeah, it's nice to have these events again. That was one of the things that I really took for granted during the situations back a few years ago. I didn't think how much I kind of missed these kind of things, and now even this winter, usually I ride a lot more during the winter, but I got too fat for the heating gear. <laughs> and, you know, December we were down below zero, but well, it hasn't been a bitter cold winter. It's just been hanging below freeze. It's been chilly. Too chilly for my willy. So, this is the least I've rode in the winter. It's like, hi, nice. Here it is. Headed towards the middle of February. Finally get out. Let's see these vents starting up. Got the, got the spring fever. So. Well. See how this is. I was impressed with the uh, crowd they had over at Susquehanna two weeks ago for their chili come off. They had a decent crowd over there, but most of the people drove instead of rode. Of course, seems like I get in this lane, now that kind of means that wouldn't be before. I'm picking a lane, any lane, I don't know. Just like the grocery store or anywhere else. No matter what lane I pick, it's the one that slows down. Alright. <laughs> now that traffic. Anyway, we'll see how the crowd is here. If they have a decent turnout, we'll see what all they have. Flannel and frost party. So I got my flannel, even though you can't tell, because I got more layers on than I care to, but we uh, be a little bundled up so we can get out, so it's so much comfortable. But I do have flannel under here. So we're up, we're following the rules. Happens once in a while. Okay. Traffic is weird. <laughs> oh my, you wouldn't think uh, like 11, well, 11 30 on Saturday. Not sure. Change lanes, anyway. Too many people. I can't pass no. It's so funny we're down here, but I know they a little bit of a speed trap. Although it's been a while since I've seen the popo here. But I do know this is a bit of a speed trap. Because revenue generation specialists need their revenue generation. So we'll slip it down. Rock a bye baby on the in the end. If I hit salt in the middle, I'm gonna go down. 
the baby, hold me in the end. So it's fun. Friends used to have a dance. He said Mustang. Here, right here, where it turns 45, there used to be a timing line here. So you cruise 35, 35. As soon as you hit that timing line, you floored it. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> hit that and just rail it. Oh, yes. Those were the days. When you were young. In your heart, was an open book. Didn't care. There. I am a little early. Little early is good. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, of course. Thank you. I wanted to stop. Dink. Now comes the real question. Do I get the arrow or do I not? You just like at least a little better than the one in well, Susquehanna. It's just what usually will change. Thank you. But you never know. See, look at all these cages. That's wrong. There's a few bikes though. Sports through in the back of the truck. Run 883 or something like that. Alright, let's so we'll get up here. Dink. Yeah, so this goes. So it's so cool.
All right, that was a blast. Uh, I was thinking, you know, they had some of the anniversary uh, colors and stuff there. The anniversary models definitely look a lot better in person than they do in pictures and videos. It kind of makes it a little bit ironic because I took photos and videos. But, ah, nice to see everybody. Nice to get out. Take a longer loop, take a parallel loop here. <sighs> For once, no crisis, so. Get out, take a little loop. Get some exercise, because I'm obviously out of shape. I'm huffing and I'm puffing. <laughs> ah, nice to see everybody out, great. Now, uh, one of the neat things with the biker community, even though you haven't seen some of these people since October, well, most of them, I haven't seen most of them since October. It's great seeing faces they haven't seen for a while, and you just have that connection, kind of pick up where you left off. This is a blast. I don't think I want to take the detour or not. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it says a lot of times different places I go, but man, it's, it's amazing all the stuff that has popped up. It used to be all open farms. It's such a large farming area. It's all buildings. Too many buildings. Why isn't this an exciting ball? Okay, anyway. So that was neat. Got to check out our pollution Harley Davidson this week. That's a chili. And the chili, a dollar per bowl. And you know I had to get all. I ain't getting just one bowl. I ain't being picky. You want me to vote? Nah. I take them all. So, once again, I am asking for your patience. And please wear your nose plugs. Because all that chili soup, you're gonna need it. But that's good. Nice to see all the people. Great to see Harley coming out with some with some uh, good colors for clothes and, and bikes. And that was one of my complaints for the longest time with Harley. Was you could have it in any color, as long as it's either black, white. Or that burnt orange. Those are three colors. That was it. But it's great to see expanding their color palette. Let's nice see some of the sparkly stuff. It keeps the wife happy. The wife spend a little too much more money on that kind of stuff. But it's all good, I guess. Let's nice see the, uh, the sparklies, the colorful. Well, life is about adventure and, and excitement. I'm oh, sorry, black just don't do it. A uh, a black and white palette is just not exciting. The biker life supposed to be exciting and fun and expressive. And uh, I don't know, <laughs> three. Kind of a uh, kind of overuse bland colors does not say enough, but that's just my opinion. Whatever my opinion is worth. Mike says we're up to forty cents. Well, breezy. We like it. Man, it's time to check out the. Uh, do you like speaking of bland colors? <laughs> But I thought it was nice. It did have a, uh, have a white. Uh, oh no! My brain... My brain is fried. Brain dead, brain dead. Uh, uh... Lowrider ST. There we go. Did have a nice white Lowrider ST, which was very tempting. I think if I trade my Kawasaki and the Indian in for a... For low rider ST. That's uh stiffly in my mind. We gotta uh hey, get some work done on the on the Kawasaki though. It takes some of my uh 
my rigged up accessories off though. But uh, well, why is yellow trucking orange? Was the owner or the uh, the original creator of yellow trucking colorblind? Yellow trucking should be yellow, not orange. That always bothered me. Anyway, Spurl, anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess I'll work on the Cowie. I, I thought I'd get it done this uh, winter, but that never came to fruition. I have thought. I traded the uh, Kawasaki and the Indian in. Consolidate, because the Kawasaki Vulcan S is a little small for what I need. It's because I'm mostly a commuter, so I have to take it so much. So, Kawasaki's a little small, and while uh, the Indian Springfield's nice, it's a little big for my, for my normal usage. So, the uh, Low Rider ST is kind of like right in the middle, which is kind of where I am, right in the middle. It's not, uh, not as big and bulky as a Springfield, which is overkill for what I use. At the same time, a little bigger and more convenient than Kawasaki Vulcan S. <sighs> So, we'll see. But that has been in my mind. And then when I test wrote it, uh, in the last year, I guess, I don't know, it felt like the uh, FXDR to me, the way the rider triangle is, but I'm sure that can be changed. But, I don't know, we'll, uh, We'll see if we spend more money. But definitely on the on the thought process. I wish they came out with some better colors though. So I'm not, not really into that just bland colors, but you know, you can always uh, always do some rap and stuff. Make it a little little uh, little less bland. Time will tell. It is just a thought. But of all of them, that's really the only one that really excites me. The breakout looks neat. You know, you know, uh, I know that'll have a falling. That should do good. I am really hoping the Lowrider ST though becomes plentiful enough that it comes into the rental fleet. I would love to rent one for a week. Wish I had some connections. So, I'd like to rent one for a week. Let's see. Does it work? In my mind, what I'm thinking, it, uh, it would be perfect for my needs, but is it really? I'd kind of like to have it a week to find out. See how it fits into my my routine. As I say, this is really overkill. What I do. I love to be more of the traveler. I don't know, that's kind of my, uh, my trouble area. Part of me would like to be more of a traveler. Yeah, at the same time, I hate traveling. <laughs> uh, if I could, uh, if I get my mind just to relax and just go with it, but the uh, the unknowns of traveling just uh, just work puts me mentally. So I spend so much time getting prepared for the trip. I want to finally go on the trip. I'm too mentally drained to enjoy it. So let's say I'm not. not a Real big traveler. That's kind of what I thought. I got the bigger bike. I'm thinking, well, it'll help me in my uh, my commuting needs. So I'm gonna do some traveling. But 
That didn't happen since 2019. I had this, so 1920, 21, 22, Yes, I still count with my fingers. So, what, four years? No, hasn't happened yet, so. Bury the hatchet, I guess. We'll see. Huh. Can't say I'm disappointed to see that place go out. That was a neat store. I have a video on that. If I think about it, which I probably won't. Uh, I have a video on that. What well, used to be there. It was kind of a cool nostalgic store, but... I don't know if the guy was the owner or just somebody working, but he's kind of a dick. He didn't like... Yeah, I thought it was cool. Some cool stuff, so I took the, uh... Took the GoPro in, and... You know, at first, it was... You could feel that, that evil, la that, that laser eyes on you, like, like he wasn't happy to, uh, he didn't like me video. And then, uh, I got a text, so I thought I would read it. Anyway, I felt that there's evil glaring eyes on me. I knew he wasn't happy about me videoing in the, in the store. And then, oh my god, near the register, he says, What? You want to have video so you can steal, so you know what to steal later? I was like, What? And that, I was like, That's kind of a jerky comment, but I know I, I've never been. I never had that comment or that, I don't know, that threw him for a loop, but he says, you play this, you need a video so you can, you need pictures so you know what to steal. I just like, wow, okay, screw you. <laughs> I was thinking about buying something in there, but if you're going to, if you're going to be a dick like that, you know, then I get it. I mean, it's your story, your roles, but. There was no signs that say no photography or any of that, so... I don't know. Anyway... It is what it is. I was going to read 34, but it took a while by. Thanks for that. Take it easy there, guys. So I'm not used to going this way. Okay, I know what I did. I don't want to try to get around the block. I missed my loop, because I normally don't go this. This way, I normally come back, and then pssst. Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Well, I guess I'll do this. I don't know. Just ride around in circles. I'm not sure if that's because there's beautiful weather or something going on down here. There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of people traffic. I did not trust for getting on the highway. It looks like I'll be getting on the highway. So, fair. Why do I torture myself as such? Huh. I wonder if I can find it here. I got an idea why I'm out here. See if I can find it this way. I'm playing as usual, but since we're over this way, let's stop and see my mama. See if I can find it. So I start. Man, I'm out of breath. But anyway, here lies my mom. <laughs> oh, this is kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. But I figured while I was out here, I visited my mom since well, 
have been out here since she died in November. And I kind of thought it would be like a little better buried by now. <laughs> Obviously it's winter, so I didn't think they'd be like green luscious grass, but this was a little more creeper than I expected it to be. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I done wrong. Alright, well since we, you know, again, I'm playing to decide to uh, stop in and see my mom in her grave. Uh, did the turn around there and now we'll head back the way I'm used to.